Here at UC Irvine, we've been developing the next generation technology for the classroom experience that supports students contributing to the classroom lectures. Students in today's classroom want an active part in their own education by interacting and working hands-on. Students should be able to create, discuss, and reflect on ideas, all under the guidance of an instructor. So far, the opportunities for increasing participation are quite limited. We can get a few students to the front of the classroom and draw, but the rest of the classroom is passive. But, what if this whiteboard that is in front of the classroom is actually spread virtually and distributed across all tablet PCs and students? Well, it's not just a dream anymore. Welcome to the software design class at UC Irvine. This design studio is made possible by Calico, a sketch-based software design tool that we developed for touchscreen devices. Students can use the software on a tablet PC to freely and fluidly draw their software design. They can manipulate content with a feature we call Scraps, and additionally, we introduce features that allow the students to share their work in a studio setting. Scraps, the box-like elements being shoved around in this video, are a feature that we have introduced to handle many of the anticipated manipulation tasks within a drawing space. Scraps allow users to quickly move, delete, copy, and organize content. From within the drawing space, students can back out to a grid where they can see the drawing spaces of other students. This particular image of the grid was taken from a student in class. In it, he can see his own design, as well as those of the people around him. In this way, the grid is a shared resource that coordinates students' efforts across the class. Students can refer to cells by a row-column system. The columns are labeled from A to E, and the rows labeled from 0 to 4. The grid is available to each student, so any number of individuals can participate in a single design space, and any design space can be quickly shared with other students. So this is actually not bad. What it does feel like, it feels a little bit heavyweight. Yeah. In the sense that you have to document a lot, a lot of things. Um, not necessarily bad. Any others that are ready? I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. Where are we? A3. Utilizing tablet PCs and Calico, we have been able to carry on participatory discussions across the whole class and involve students creating their own examples, which are instantly presented on a large overhead projector. Both the instructor and other students can give real-time feedback. Additionally, the sketches on the projector are sketched shared by both instructor and students, and so the instructor engages all of the students in a large discussion rather than singling out individual students. So, so one question while we're doing that, is anybody spying on what everybody else is doing? Yep. Good. Is it giving you any inspiration? Uh, we're just leaving notes for that. Alright. Calico allows a level of cross-pollinization of ideas not possible in traditional classroom settings. While students are working, both the instructor and other students can anonymously leave feedback. We've piloted Calico at UC Irvine in a software design class, where it's natural that students must create ideas, generate ideas, work with ideas, reflect on the ideas, play with the ideas, um, clearly all under the guidance of the instructor. Um, so Calico is a perfect technology for this. Um, as the students testify to us, they're very happy with it, and particularly um, the grid is something that they do natural. They understand how it works, um, they, they partition their work, they find a grid so that they work in, share it with the instructor when they feel it's ready, etc. Um, scraps they use to update their design, manipulate their design, change their design just as we envisioned. Um, and the overall collaborative exercise is actually um, very, very interesting um, from an instructor point of view. You get a very different feel for the, for the classroom, for classroom participation um, than in the past. Um, and so from me as an instructor's point of view, this is a, a great technology um, that I want to keep building and actually I want to get others involved in, in participating, beta testing, trying it out um, and preventing us with, pre presenting us with feedback. Um, but also from a student perspective, we're getting very strong feedback that they enjoyed a different experience, that they enjoyed a different feel in the classroom, that they enjoy the sort of collaborative nature of learning um, that is sort of missing um, from other design studio kind of approaches where they're not all part of it. Um, so the technology seems to be enabling a very different learning experience from what we've had in the past. For more information, you can visit our website, calico.ics.uci.edu. We'd also like to give a special thanks to HP for providing us with the tablets and grant to continue this research.